Falcon and the Winter Soldier finale may have ended with a bright and shiny new Captain America. But the show itself set the Marvel Cinematic Universe on a dark path. And hello, my name is Joshua Yale, and I will be your tour guide down that dark path today. You see, I read way, way too many comic books, like it's kind of a problem. So when I watch these MCU shows, I see little setups and teases for big things to come, kind of like how a fortune teller reads tea leaves. So brew yourself some of Zemo's favorite cherry blossom tea and get ready for this breakdown. I'm gonna cover how this show sets up new heroes and new villains and what roles they'll be playing in the dark days to come. Let's start on the bright side of things coming out of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or should I say, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That's right, Sam Wilson has taken up the mantle of Captain America, just like in the comics. His time as Cap came about during an era in the comics known as all new, all different Marvel. Many other icons got a shake up too. This is when Jane Foster transformed into the new Thor, a big change we already know is coming to the MCU in Thor Love and Thunder. So when Sam Wilson joined the all new, all different Avengers, it was with a roster that looks an awful lot like the MCU's upcoming schedule. Thor was on the team and she had a romance with Sam. So there may be some love and thunder in his future. You know, there's some sparks might fly there. You know, electricity puns. Anyways, the roster also included Miss Marvel, who's getting her own MCU show, and Vision, who just happened to return to the MCU in WandaVision and could really use some new friends to get his mind off boats. Neither is the true ship. Both are the true ship. This isn't to say the next Avengers movie will have this exact lineup, namely because in the comics, the leader was Iron Man, and in the MCU, he's, well... The team also has members like Miles Morales as Spider-Man and Sam Alexander as Nova, who aren't a part of the MCU just yet. So this Avengers team more gives us a roadmap of where things may eventually go, Possibly, I, I wouldn't bet my life on it, but it absolutely definitely could happen or not. Moving on, there's even more that we can learn from the ANAD era. That's what us cool kids call it. And it hints at plenty of surprises that Marvel Studios may have in store that I'm now gonna ruin. Here's a big one. On paper, old man Steve Rogers took up a behind the desk leadership role, essentially becoming Nick Fury 2.0 and it has been reported that Chris Evans will be returning as Steve Rogers in some capacity. So it's possible he may come back to supervise the next generation of Avengers. Now, the all new, all different era came to an end when Marvel's heroes turned on each other again in Civil War II. This time, the conflict saw Iron Man butt heads with Captain Marvel, but with MCU Tony gone, that could leave Sam to lead the charge. Beyond all that, there are other comics that may contain clues on what's coming next, like The Young Avengers. The character Isaiah Bradley was revealed to be a secret super soldier, and we also met Elijah Bradley, who in the comics becomes the superhero Patriot. Marvel has been slowly introducing the other members of their premier teen team, and now Eli can join in on all the Young Avengers fun when they presumably make their debut. And if you were wondering why Sam's military buddy, Joaquin Torres, was so interested in those broken wings, it's because Marvel was clearly setting him up to become the new Falcon, just like in the comics. Wait, yo, you forgot the wings. Cable. Okay, the Hollywood Reporter broke the news that a fourth Captain America movie is in the works. So I expect to see Sam wielding the shield as Cap and Torres playing his wingman as the new Falcon. Speaking of Captain America 4, given that the head writer and creator of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Malcolm Spellman, is developing the movie along with fellow show writer Dalin Masson, it seems more than likely it'll star Anthony Mackie's freshly minted Captain America. Now, in the comics, Sam became Cap in 2014 and went on to wield the shield for four years. So if that's any indication, he'll have a long and healthy run as Cap in the MCU. For villains, he fought the daughter of the Red Skull, known as Sin, a new version of Hydra, and the hate group, the Sons of the Serpent. Suffice to say, there's no shortage of evildoers for MCU Sam to shield bash in his next high-flying adventure. <laughs> And let's not forget about everyone's favorite one-armed killing machine, Bucky Barnes, who may be walking a very different path after the events of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. A darker path, perhaps? 
because I've been saying how things have been going down a, a darker path, you know, and that just do the card. The man formerly known as the Winter Soldier may have crossed all those names off his list and reconciled his traumatic past, but my theory is he's headed for quite a bit more trauma when he joins the Thunderbolts. This fan favorite Marvel team is essentially the same as DC Suicide Squad, where villains are enlisted by the government and given a chance at redemption by completing dangerous missions. Bucky was a Thunderbolt in the comics, and he knows a thing or two about seeking redemption for past misdeeds, so he's the ideal candidate to help rehabilitate others. But he may not be the only familiar face on the team. Zemo is a founding member of the Thunderbolts in the comics. We've already seen how he was able to use his unique talents as leverage to escape his cage, so he's probably already scheming for a way to do that again while he catches up on some reading in the raft. Maybe Bucky will be brought in to personally supervise him because he has experience doing it before. See, it all adds up. As for the rest of the team, Marvel has introduced several other characters who are also members in the comics. There's Ghost, Goliath, Shocker, the leader, and even Thunderbolt Ross. He once led the team and fought alongside them as the Red Hulk. Yep, there are different colored Hulks, and I hope Marvel introduces them all and lets us taste the whole gamma of radiated rainbow. We haven't seen Ross in Phase 4 yet, but perhaps he's working on this new team as we speak as a way to finally exercise control over the world now that the Avengers aren't around anymore. Or are they? The last part of our theory does feature the Avengers, but probably not the ones you're used to seeing. When the Contessa, aka Val, made her surprise debut on the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it opened up a whole world of storytelling possibilities. And my best guess on where they're going? She will assemble the Dark Avengers. You see, in the comics, Val is a super spy character, a triple agent with ties to S.H.I.E.L.D., HYDRA, and Leviathan. And given how her first move in the MCU was to recruit Captain Americill himself, John Walker, it seems clear she's up to no good and she wants to put together a team. I'll be in touch. But what is her plan and where will we see her next? If Marvel casts an A-list actor like Julia Louis-Dreyfus, then you've got to imagine they've got big plans for her character. And a piece on her cameo in Vanity Fair says as much. So I've got some thoughts. Val has strong ties to Nick Fury in the comics, where she fought alongside him and had a rather complicated romantic relationship with him. We know the Secret Invasion show will star Nick Fury, so we could possibly see her show up to, you know, rekindle things with her ex and backstab him in a power play to take over the world. Sounds like something she would do. The Secret Invasion comics saw Earth's heroes defend against a surprise attack by evil shape-shifting scrolls. But what's most interesting about this story is the ending. It changed the status quo of the Marvel Universe like I've never seen before. So when the scrolls were all but defeated, Norman Osborn blindsided the heroes by taking out the Scroll Queen and taking all credit for saving Earth. In exchange for his heroic act, the government exonerated him for as many, many crimes as the Green Goblin and put him in a position of total power to protect the world going forward. And thus he disbanded the Avengers and assembled his own team of Dark Avengers with villains posing as heroes. This began the era of Marvel Comics known as Dark Reign. Now, Norman Osborn has not been introduced to the MCU, but Val is similarly powerful and influential and likes wearing purple, so she could just as easily take on his role in the MCU's version of Dark Reign. You see where I'm going with this? And she has Sharon Carter, AKA the power broker, to feed her secret intel and help her seize power. Start lining up our buyers. Super soldiers might be off the menu, but we're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons, you name it. The Contessa already has a dark Captain America, now known as US agent, so it's easy to see her recruiting other agents of evil to fill out her own personal Avengers team. Val was actually supposed to debut in the Black Widow movie, maybe that's so she could invite Yelena to be her Black Widow. Abomination is returning in the She-Hulk series, so he could be her Dark Hulk. Agatha could be her Scarlet Witch, Mordo could be her Doctor Strange, her Hawkeye could be this sharp stick I found, and Justin Hammer would make for a fitting Dark Iron Man. As for Dark Thor, that was Ares in the comics. We do know that the Greek god Zeus will be in the next Thor movie, so maybe Ares will pop up there. 
It was a surprise when the announced Phase 4 slate did not feature a new Avengers movie, and that may be because the next Avengers film will be The Dark Avengers, the MCU's first ever bona fide villain team. My thinking is Val will finish recruiting by the end of Phase 4, and then Phase 5 will be the Dark Reign era of the MCU. By then, it'll be up to a whole new generation of heroes to rise up and stop the Dark Avengers. That could be Sam's new Avengers team, the Young Avengers, the Thunderbolts, or even the Fantastic Four and the X-Men. Maybe all of them at once. It's hard to say what the MCU has in store for us, even though I just spent a whole video doing just that. But if I'm right, it will be headed in a dark direction. So those are all my theories on what's coming next for the MCU. Let me know what you think is coming next down in the comments. And be sure to check out our other video on everything WandaVision set up for the future. And don't forget to follow and subscribe for more from IGN.